I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello. So I want to give you guys a planner update. This is my catch-all. This is my nursing school planner. I, as of right now, have them both separate. And I loved it. I love being able to have both planners laid out in front of me and kind of see like what I've got going on, what I'm doing, how much time I have for certain tasks that have to be done. But I've run into a few problems where I only take my college planner with me and I leave my catch-all at home. Just because I have so many things between books and binders and all the things for school, my lunchbox and my purse and just everything's going with me. So it's like, oh, I'll just leave my, my catch-all at home. No big deal. I don't need it. And then I'm like, I need my catch-all. <laughs> I need this planner because I know there was something I was supposed to get or something I was supposed to do. So I'm going to just combine the two. That way I don't have to carry two separate planners and we'll just Franken plan them together. So if you don't know what Franken planning is, it's where you take multiple planners and you put them into one on one set of discs. That's what I'm going to be doing. I probably don't need to show you guys how I do this. I'm literally just going to add, put them together. But I just want to update you guys and show you what I'm doing now and what's going to be working, hopefully working for me. Because I know for me, I love seeing whenever people that I follow update um, on how they're using their planner. So. I'm not going to be keeping, I'll take that out of there. I'm only going to be keeping a few months in here at a time. Well, that's a habit tracker. See, how am I supposed to track my habits if I don't have a planner with me? Um, catch all is going into college planner. I don't need January because January is over. So I will, and I don't use these um, currently pages, dashboard pages. I don't really know what, they, what they're called to be very honest with you guys. Um, I'm going to do February, March, and April of my catch-all. I don't think I should need May. I don't think so. So we'll just do February, March, and April. We'll add those into the other one. And then what I'm going to do is take a regular old paper clip and I'm just gonna paper clip it here so whenever I go to like once I take out February I'll pop it in take May out and it just makes it easier to access it so that's that what do I have back here this is where I'm probably going to run into some problems because I have so much filler paper that I use all the time but we can make it work and I do want to keep all of my filler paper in here because I do use it for notes and grocery list and all kinds of different things. And I love these stickers and I love having these ones. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to keep those in here as well. Because as you can see, I have stickers already in here. Not there, so maybe I'll put them there. But um, I have them there and then I also have stickers that I keep here and I keep here so maybe I'll stick those in here or something we'll figure it out but those have got to go for sure I do like having sticky notes so I'm gonna take these and put them in there and then I'll probably take that too so we'll just leave this folder in here I shouldn't need it now for the nursing one what I'm gonna do is keep a semester at a time and I do want to keep January because sometimes I have to backtrack to see like whenever we go from here into here, did I miss anything, all that stuff. So I like to keep the whole entire semester. So January, February, March, April, I think May too because we've got final exams that first week. And then we can, oh look, I only have up to June. So you know what, let's just keep June in there too. Let's just keep it in there call that a day so how do I want to separate the two before I would just let them run together but I kind of want to keep them separate I have an idea 
because this stuff here is all pertaining to nursing school. And the other problem I'm going to run into is I don't have any more of the dividers for mini. I only have them for big, well not big, actually classic size. And I really need to get some more. Hold on, I'm just checking to see if I have any more. I'm positive I don't, but you never know. No. Okay, that kind of sucks. So that is something that I will have to add to a list so I can get some more little mini dividers. But I think what I'll do is, let's take that out. Um, <laughs> oh, this is too funny. Okay, wait a minute, I have an idea. I guess I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. And I'm not moving around, so if you guys can't hear me very well, that's why I'm like walking away from the microphone. There's something I'm looking for though, and I don't remember where I put it. Okay, Billy Ashley. Okay, I'm not sure where I put it. I was looking for some more of these magnets. I know I have some somewhere, but for now, until I get more dividers, I'm going to take this clip here and I'm gonna clip these together so I can easily access my notes for the ones that I use specifically for college. And then the folder will be what divides college planner to catch-all planner. And then once I get some more dividers, I will use dividers in here and have tabs at the top that make it easier to get to things. But for now, we'll just use um, different little clips. That's totally fine by me. As long as it works and it's functional, I'm okay with it. So we'll leave that there. And then we'll go ahead and pop in my catch-all. So this is February. Here's March. I may end up having to put this on classic size discs too. Which means I get to buy more discs because I love the black ones with this cover. Because see now I have all of this stuff to put in there too. And I was thinking that maybe I will put, oh, we're not into March. I will put this divider into here and use it to get to my week that I'm on in my catch-all a little bit easier. And then I think what I may do is use another clip for now for my half sheets. Let's see if we can simmer some of these down a little bit. Maybe not have as much inside of here. We'll do like two of those. The lined ones are usually the ones I use the most of. And then two of those, that's fine. All the, all the inserts guys, all the inserts. So we'll just pop these in. And I call these half sheets. These aren't the half sheets, but these are. And I love half sheets. I use these probably more than anything. And then I'll just stick this back on here. I want to do that or do I want to do this? Which one do I like better? Let's do the magnet. To the magnet which is what I was using before because I still needed to get dividers for my catch-all cleaner but whoops I kicked my trash can but I hadn't yet so that's that I probably could stick that other folder in here too I don't know maybe that's too much on these discs it's just kind of getting full as it is so um, probably will and these are the metal discs too which I love um, I don't know that I'll ever go back to plastic ones just because these are so much better and durable, but 
for so I'll have to get classic size metal black discs which is okay I don't mind buying them so we'll stick this in here and I'll see where I can put all of those stickers at maybe I can probably yep go in a little bit further and that'll close there so that's good let's see I've got I know these ones here can slip right into there. And then these ones I use quite frequently too. So I want to have these in here as well. No prep. Oh man, so many stickers. These are more of the functional ones which I love. So let's do, oh, are they gonna fit? Let's just stick them in there. That should be fine. And then maybe slip that there. Is that too much? Oh, guys, she's a little thick. <laughs> It's not wanting, I mean, it's closed, it's working, but um, it's a little bit thick. Are those contributing to that at all? I don't think so, no. Those are actually fine. Actually, what I can do, I always keep my mild liner that I'm currently using because I use mild liners in almost every single spread for like, especially on the go, whenever I have to drop something down, there we go, that works a little bit better. Um, I like it though, I like that thickness. But I keep mild liners in there for on the go whenever I'm like in a hurry or writing something down. Actually, I just use them all the time anyway. So this is not the current week that we are on. That can come out. It's got to go too. This was last week. I have not planned in this for this week yet. I will do that actually after I film this. So this will be there okay so let's walk through this and I'll talk you guys through what's what and why I did it this way so these stickers here are specific these little stack here are sp are specific for college I got extra sticky notes these stickers back here are specific for my catch-all and then if we open it up if you guys look from the top I think you guys can see that we've got one two three four little dividers not actual dividers but things dividing things so the first one will take me to my current week in my college planner the second one which is just a paper clip will take me to my inserts that I use specifically for college um, I love these assignment sheets these actually come in classic size and I just cut them down to fit inside of my mini because I use so many of these I love them and then we've got a pocket folder which I also keep some stickers in there that if I'm being completely honest, I don't use, but we'll just leave them in there, right? Just in case, just in case. And then this starts into my catch-all. So the first tab up here will take me to my current week in that. And then the second little tab, which is a magnet, will take me to the inserts. And then finally back here, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to get some classic sided black metal discs for this. These stickers back here, I use those for college as well. Those are actually what goes inside of my monthlies. And so I use them to note when things are due, exams, and that kind of stuff. So those stay back here. I don't use them but once a semester, but I like to have them because sometimes plans change or um, our professors will add things in or change exam dates and that kind of thing. So it's nice to have them, but typically that doesn't happen. They're very, very good about sticking to the planned schedule. So um, I just have a few things left over. I'm not going to, these were originally in there, these little set of sticky notes. I was actually planning with them, which is why they were out. I'm not gonna stick them back in just because I don't use them very often. I'll just leave them out. So that's not a big deal. I have these sticky notes here in the front if I need some. And actually what I may do, because I feel like I'm going to lose those down in there. And that's kind of scary. So I wonder 
cow. I don't know if we put it this way if it's less likely. Let's do that. It looks cuter anyways. Put a little arrow clip in there. Because I don't know why. <laughs> so, anyways, this is an update. This is what I'm going to try for a few weeks. See if I like it. Um, again, she is a little chunky, but that's okay. I kind of like the feel of a good chunky planner. I don't know why. But um, this will go with me, and now I will have everything that I need on one set of discs in one contained area. And that way I'm not forgetting my catch-all or, you know, trying not to take it with me because I'm tired of packing so much stuff, which is okay. It is what it is. It's all got to go. But that's it, guys. That's how I'm going to do this. And then as far as this goes, I'll just leave these on this set of discs, and I'll just store this planner um, until it's time to add more of the months into this one so that'll just get stored this will be what goes with me now i still have my wellness planner separate my faith planner separate and then i have another little planner that i use for um just tracking what we do in the day writing down notes and that kind of thing that i use for memory keeping so the only thing that i've franken planned so far is this and i'm kind of excited i'm ready to see how it works and see if it works for me so that's it guys that's how we're going to do this we'll see we'll see what works and if i change anything again I will keep you guys updated so you guys know what I'm doing with my planners. But for now, this is it. This is what we're going to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support, and I hope you have a wonderful day.